Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says a semicircle and a quarter circle inside of a square. How long is the black tangent line? This is another puzzle from Katrina Ag. I'm trying to solve all of these. If you want to try this one on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's copy it down and let's focus on the radius of this quarter circle. They're telling us right here that it's equal to eight. And let's shift it over here to this point of tangency, and that means it's going to be at right angles. And from here, let's duplicate this one. We're going to do something different on this one and this one. For the top one, let's look at the radius of 5, and let's shift it down here. And then let's look at this side length, and let's call that S for side length. And since it's a square, we know both these side lengths are equal to S. And then last, let's complete this triangle, and we know this is a right angle because it's a square. We don't know this angle down here, so let's call it theta. And that's going to be the same angle as this down here, so this one's also theta. And while we're down here, let's draw this side, and we know that's equal to s because it's a side of the square. Let's bring this down and keep it parallel. And then let's complete this triangle. And we know this is also a right triangle because it's parallel to the top. Next, let's try to find this angle inside here. Since this is a right triangle and this acute angle is theta, that leaves 90 minus theta for the other angle. Since this is a right angle and this piece is 90 minus theta, that means that this angle and this triangle will also be equal to theta. And now we have two congruent triangles. Let's focus on those triangles. For this triangle up here on the hypotenuse, the 5 and the 8 will add together to give us 13. And now let's rotate this one. Now we have these two triangles lined up, and they are congruent. The reason we know they're congruent is because of ASA, which stands for angle side angle. That's because we have these two angles congruent, we have these two sides congruent, and we have these two angles congruent. And now since we know these two triangles are congruent, that means if this side is 13, this side is also 13. And this side length right here is the same thing as this side length right here. So we've now solved the problem. It's equal to 13 units. Let's put a box around it. And there is a part two to this problem. I also found the area of this square. If you want to check out that video, I'll try to put the link up here and also put it in the description. How exciting.